You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. Welcome, I'm Spaghetti King, and this will be Neko Girl Begs for Some Quality Time by Yubi VA. Um, usually when I'm looking for Nekos, um, I will be looking for something like Tomoe. That's pretty much my go-to Neko, but Tomoe is like, I don't know, in Arizona right now or something, so I guess we'll look for others. I mean... Even though May is called May Neko ASMR, really, the main thing she does doesn't really seem to be Neko stuff, but is what it is, right? But this is Yubi, and uh, this is her Neko here. I'm not sure if she's really, if she's really done Neko before. I don't think I've seen any Neko thing from her before, but, you know, this is what it is. So this will be my first take on her Neko. And it was quite enjoyable. It was a bit, uh, a bit, a bit uh, old school. A bit, uh, a bit traditional, which I like because I've been finding the Nekos to be kind of going off key as of late, not exactly following the guidelines as of late. I mean, I've said in the past that I think May's Neko is quite, quite a bit apart from the standard, and this was a good return to form because, you know, it's good to have Nekos that kind of don't conform to the standards, but it's also good to have Nekos that you know, follow what you expect. You know, so with Nekos, you have a couple conventions, but um, this was a pretty basic one in terms of progression. Uh, begins with your Neko girl, who I assume is basically like your pet. It's the regular, like, a master dynamic. Um, she wakes up from her, na her, her nap, her cat nap. <laughs> Her catnap, and you know, she's ready to go, and she wants to, you know, cuddle and play with Master. And Master's, you know, apparently a gamer. Let's see if I can get some video game controller from my corner here. Uh, here's a dirty Wii remote with no batteries in it. How about that? There, there's, a, there's a, you know, controller for you. That's all I got at the moment. <laughs> oh. PS3 controller. There's that. So, you know, gamer moment. Master's a gamer. Master's a gamer. I, I wish I could do some melee inputs or something for you, but, you know, Master's gaming with his bros. You know, he's an online gamer, as many are today, and, you know, she doesn't appreciate it. And, you know, all these online games, I'm not really an online person. And, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, th th there's quite the addictive element to these online games. I think I see a lot of these people online, and I think it does a lot of bad for them. Overall, I see them coming out, and they, they seem to be in, 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 in some bad straits with literally just how much they're on this stuff. And it's kind of weird coming from me, because, you know, I'm deep into video games. I know video games a lot. I know an insane amount about video games. The difference is how much of that for me is personal, whereas how much of that is social. For me, social video game stuff is when I'm talking with the bros about this stuff. But these people have combined it with online on even on a hyper level where they have all these people they haven't met before and all this. And it's literally a, like a part of their life. It's their social life. It's their uh, professional life in a way. It's it's their uh, you know, it's their personal life. It's all these things. And it's too much. So my Neko is coming in here and saying, you know, I want to cuddle. And you know what? I think I think we I think we can substitute a day with the bros for a day with the girl. A eh, my lads? I think we can. I think we can subside it. So, you know. The hugs have been offered and they shall be taken. I shall accept this offer. I am I am I'm ready to receive. Um but you know Master, he's a little he's a little um uh he, he's he, he's a little um not uh, going to just, you know, be coerced that comfortably. He he wants to chill with the bros. He has an obligation, I guess. Maybe he's playing boys versus girls on Roblox or something. Some kind of insane multiplayer online game. Something a real Chad plays, right? Something like that. I, I, I wouldn't know. Um, and, you know, she, 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 she needs more convincing, but eventually he pretty much just puts it down. He's like, eh. 
<laughs> and he pretty much accepts. Uh, you know, so Master says, uh, yeah, okay, I'm done. And, you know, she, she even asks, like, is this going to anger your friends and whatnot? I wouldn't want to ruin the gaming session, even though that's all you do every day anyway. And, uh, I guess I'm like, eh, whatever, the bros will accept. And, you know, we kind of just go. And, um... She's like, yeah, you know, okay, well, cuddle time then. Cuddle time indeed. Cuddle time, that's how it goes. So, you know, very simply, uh, the video games are down, the cuddle time is up. And, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good time to be in. It's a good time. It's a good place to be. And, um, she offers me her toy mouse as a, uh, <laughs> as a sign of good luck. This is actually a really good clip, so I'm actually going to play it for you uh, right now, so... My toy mouse. It's my good luck charm. It might work with you. Keep this with you forever. It's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah, so... That was... That, that was a good one. <laughs> Take this forever. I'll take it forever. I'll make a necklace out of it. I'll have my, my, my toy mouse necklace, good luck charm from my Neko. I mean, you know, as she says, she's not gonna live, she's not gonna live forever. She, she lives shorter than humans, so I have to treasure it. It has to be, you know, we have to treasure these moments, right? So, you know, I'll have this necklace and I'll have it forever. I mean, I usually wear necklaces if I were to wear a charm, but I don't really I don't wear necklaces in general. I don't wear, I, you know, I don't really wear approachments. I just have what I have. Well, I guess I have this. <laughs> that's kind of like it. Uh, that's that's where I'm 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 different from other people. But you know, for the most part, I don't I don't wear accessories, right? Um, but uh, no. And then you know, I'm apparently going to take her out to the park, and you know, that sounds like a good one. Go out to the park. You know, nice, nice, uh, bright day out there. Psh, good. Uh, yeah, sounds like a good situation. So and that's pretty much a review of it. Um, you know, for the most part, the 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 the, the progression is as I said, right? That's the uh, progression on there. But it, it's pretty simple, right? I mean, the motivation is obvious, right? It's like, oh, I want to cuddle with you, Master. Master's busy. Oh, well, Master has time to cuddle now. So let's go. <laughs> that's pretty much how it goes. So, motivation and scenario is very clear. I can just get that out with the summary. Um, anything else to say? Uh, no fade in, I guess. I can mention that. But, um, and um, the art is uh, pretty interesting. I actually really like the art. So, you have this uh, girl in a cardboard box. So, you know, real. A real kawaii situation of being, you know, a solid snake up around here. Uh, you know, get my codex up, you know, pretty nice. And uh, she's got what looks like a white dress. I think it's a white dress. Um, and she's wearing it a bit, a bit loose, a bit loose on there. Let's see if I can, no, a bit loose on, <laughs> a bit loose on there. And um, uh, she's got purple hair, and it's tied. You know, from both ends of her head, and that kind of anime look. I uh, don't remember her eye color, but uh, she's got uh, the background is nice. The background is is a kind of like nerd studio kind of look, like a, got a computer, got a couple anime figures, um, got a bunch of books lying around. Looks like your typical nerd room. Probably really isn't too far from my room, honestly. And you know, it's good. It's a good, nice, uh, chill look. Got the sun shining in. You know, real good. Real good for Neko, so yeah, it's good. So I think that's pretty much all I have to say about that one. So that was a good one. UBVA, of course. Um, last thing I have is uh, the rating. So audio five out of five. So you know, did well on that. Wholesome rating five out of five. You bet. Overall rating eight out of ten. Rank great. Um, and that's the rating. The last thing I guess I could mention is actually UBVA commented on my other review of her uh, Yandere video. 
And uh, one thing I can say is in that video I actually gave a critique that I thought she could have like read the script better. Like I thought she kind of maybe like mumbled some words or things like that. And I also said the audio was just a bit quiet. Well, as, as you heard from that, the audio I had no problems with this time, I the audio was perfect. And I had no problems with her script reading whatsoever, so... I don't know if I had an effect on that or not, or what, what not, but the point is, whether I had an effect or not, we see clear improvement from there, so, you know, good to see, I'm happy nonetheless, so, you know, very good, UBVA, uh, you know, I'm subscribed and I watch regularly, and, you know, it's good to see. So this was a good, classic Neko, I liked the Neko, uh, you know, you got, a, you got a good Nia there, I was called Master up in here, it was, it was some nice treatment. I liked it. Going out to the park sounds good. Sounds good. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I am Spaghetti King. I love you all. And farewell.